Hey, what's going on everybody? Just wanted to uh, react to another video I saw today. Uh, just uh, about Pierre Polia basically exposing Trudeau once again on the prices of rent or housing. Uh, we need to make sure that young Canadians have opportunities their parents and grandparents have. That's what we're stepping up for. That's what he refuses to do. He was the one who said the federal government is not responsible for home housing construction or affordability. That is after he doubled the cost. When I was housing minister, we built 89,000 apartments at an average rent of $973. Since then, the rent has doubled, the mortgage payment has doubled, the needed down payment has doubled. So with all this failure, why is it doubling down? So again, I know that was a very quick video, but it's, it's very important to, you know, just point out the fact that when a liberal criticize you, criticizes you of something, what that really means is that they're the ones who are doing it, but they want to pretend like you're the one who's doing it so that they can get elected back into power. Apparently, some Canadians are dumb enough to believe that, but if you go back to 2013, 14, 15, Pierre's right. Rent was way cheaper. And ever since Trudeau has been in power, it's gone up and up and up because they're letting in way too many people and they're not building nearly enough houses. So now you have a market where there's this many houses for this many people. Obviously, there's not enough houses and apartments to go around. So rent goes up because that's what happens when you have fewer people, uh, more people uh, chasing a fewer amount of goods. They have to bid for it. And I've even been through this with, with landlords, you know, a few years ago, we agreed to, to pay some lady like a thousand bucks a month for some like really crappy two bedroom basement apartment. And she knew that she could get more. So she just pretended that someone else offered her 1100 and then someone else offered her 1150. So we had to end up paying 1200 a month. I, that's what they do. They're getting whatever they can. And listen, in a free market society, that's fine get what you can that's not immoral but when you have something like housing which everybody needs and you're just jacking up the price because you can because the government's basically doing you a favor that's not immoral that's not moral capitalism that's immoral capitalism that's the part about capitalism that needs to change so a lot of people that say well make rules and you know force these landlords to lord no you don't do that you just build more places let the free market balance itself. Budgets don't balance themselves, but if you have this many homes for this many people, rent is going to stabilize. You can't con continuously push up, uh, push up the price and negotiate because there's no one else who's willing to pay more. If there's a bunch of $1,000 apartments, no one's going to offer to pay $1,100, $1,200. They're just going to each find their own place for $1,000. But Trudeau doesn't understand math, just like most liberals don't understand math, which is why they keep voting for this clown. But again, Pierre Paul Yev just keeps exposing him. And it's it's so funny. And, you know, Jimmy Dore points this out a lot, too, is that, you know, when liberals say you don't believe in democracy, it's because they don't actually believe in democracy. They want people to believe the other side doesn't. And that's just what they do. And it's, <laughs> for most people, the strategy is clearly not working, but for some it is. But not enough. Something needs to change in Trudeau's favor, and I don't. What, what, what could it possibly be, other than you know, buying votes with a universal basic income program, which we've been uh, went over a bunch of times? But even that, I don't know if that's enough to work. Most people understand that the money is going to have to come from somewhere, and they say we'll take it from the rich people. Well, the problem with doing that is rich people have freedom. They can just go, okay, I'll move down to Texas, I'll move down to Tennessee, I'll move down to Florida where there's way less taxes. And the brick and mortar store is going to close, I'll just sell all my shit online. So now only, not only are they going to lose tax dollars, they're going to lose jobs. Or the people are going to lose jobs rather because they're going to lose businesses. Right? If I'm making 500 grand a year and you want to tax me at 80% like Jagmeat does, I'm leaving. Well, that's because you're selfish and greedy. No, it's because I don't trust these people and our employees don't have to show records on where every dollar is going. They can say, oh, we, we fixed the roads. Go down to Barton Street in Hamilton. Tell me they've spent taxpayer money fixing the fucking road. 
give me a break. They're obviously taking some of those funds and using it for themselves. Many politicians, even low level politicians, like small city mayors have been caught taking, you know, taxpayer money out of the, the account and buying a pool and shit. These people are so corrupt that they, they complain and call us greedy when we don't want to give them 80%. Go, go live in a socialist country and you tell me how you like it there. Okay. Instead of trying to change Canada into a socialist or communist country, you go live there instead. But anyway, back to, you know, Pierre, um, you know, what Trudeau can do. I mean, other than UBI, I mean, he's pretty much screwed. I mean, what's he going to do? Fix the housing market within less than a year and a half? It's going to be hard. It takes time. Stop funding the Ukraine war. He's not going to, he's not going to go back on anything. It seems like almost like, and I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but almost like he's been instructed by someone to almost destroy the middle class because that's exactly what's happening. Some people may think that's happening because of incompetency. I don't. I don't think the government, these politicians are that stupid. I think they're evil. That's just my take. Let me know what you think in the comments section. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly.